guys. Back out here with, uh, with Will Petty uh, to talk through some of the gear and the equipment that he uses and uh, why he uses what he does on a daily basis. Right on, man. Yeah. So I think uh, it's important that you select the gear for what you're going to be doing, right? So obviously my everyday carry is a Glock, appendix, uh, a knife, a flashlight, and a TQ. That's it, right? That's that's what I need. Um, and most, most of the time the knife and the flashlight is administrative because I'm doing the dad thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, if I'm rolling into a class, uh, you know, I can start to add on to that. I think one of the big issues is that guys come to class or operationally um, they wear too much stuff, right? So it's not about having the most expensive thing and it's not about having the most of everything. It's about having the right tool that you need, right? So a couple of things, right? So I've got a Triarch 2011 here. Um, really, really dig the QLS. It just makes it so much more versatile if I'm putting it on different kit, changing out holsters and whatnot. And I just, I mount that directly to the belt. I'm not a big fan of, of, of thigh rigs and things like that, right? So that's that's directly mounted. I'm wearing the um, the uh, Velocity Systems um, rig here that's set up with the magnetic plate, which is pretty rad, right? So I've got a uh, basic kit loadout for, for, for what I need on the range. Med stuff, obviously, if you have the ability to put holes in things, you should have the ability to patch them, not just from a wherewithal and knowledge standpoint, but also physically on you, the ability to patch holes, right? So I'm looking at a couple of things. I've got a Theorem battery holder, uh, do a lot of low light stuff. Uh, this will double your, your run time um, on, uh, on your batteries. I'm looking at um, an AR mag, a handgun mag. If I need to double up more, I can throw, throw them in my pocket or whatnot, right? So that's what I'm looking for. Always have a uh, Surefire Teal uh, EDCL2 on me um, for if I'm doing handheld stuff. And then obviously with a uh, Triarch uh, work gun, we're good to go, set up with a centrifuge sling. And this is this is all I need, man. So I'll take this out, run the class, do the vehicle stuff. Um, whether it's shoot house, you know, obviously we'll have to layer up with helmets and whatnot, depending on where we're working. Um, if we're doing plain clothes stuff, we can layer down, which is which which is what makes this uh, this velocity systems uh, rig so versatile is that you can work plain clothes and then throw the placard on the um, high speed gear tacos make it um, nice for me as I travel a lot I tend to use other people's guns you know for if, if we're out of country or if uh, somebody has a setup they want me to try so the the uh, the tacos will accommodate whatever I need right whether I'm show whether, whether I'm throwing uh, mags in them or markers um, staplers uh, TQ uh, TQs or whatnot so allows for a lot of um, modularity I guess yeah so, gotcha. yeah now the the work gun you've spec'd out a specific centrifuge rifle through Triarch Correct. Can you walk us through why that's set up the way it is? A lot of it's set up with the um, the no thrills, bare bones, but facilitating an aggressive ambi usage, right? So we're looking at uh, a quality barrel, great rail, um, all the things that Triarch's known for. The things that I like on it are an oversized um, bolt catch and bolt release, right? So when we start getting an injured shooter, it makes it a lot easier. Obviously, the Raptor charging handle, in my mind, is the best uh, the rest the best charging handle out there currently on the market right so we're looking at a lot of those features Geisley triggers um, and uh, yeah man uh, they come with the uh, the centrifuge sling which is nice because it folds up on itself so if I'm working uh, inside the vehicle I'm good to go right and then once I need the sling all I have to do is deploy it as such and I'm good so again a lot of thought into what's working what's not working I travel a lot I'm on the road 210 days of the year. I don't have a lot of time to coddle gear mm -hmm. or to spend a lot of time detailing guns. Um, so often it's they're, they're run in less than optimal conditions. I lube them up, I throw them back in the box and we're off to the next class, right? So we're not sitting there. I mean, if they can't run dirty, nasty and full of, full of uh, carbon, then it's not something that's gonna survive with on, on our schedule. Gotcha. So. Uh, can you walk us through a little bit more of your time with the uh, the 2011, the, the Tri-11? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'll tell you what, I really, really dig this gun. Um, you know, for the longest time, the, uh, the uh, for the longest time, you know, when I first got introduced to 2011s and 1911s in the mid 2000s, uh, shooting USPSA and whatnot, uh, the big drawback of this platform was just how finicky it was, right? Just the, the reliability wasn't there. I mean, there, no one can argue with the ergonomics on it. No one can argue with, with what, what a pleasure it is to shoot this gun, how accurate they are. But man, just the reliability was just tearing dudes up as far as, you know, can I use this as a duty gun? 
Um, and I've run this, um, I've been running this for about eight months now and uh, not been kind to it as you guys can see. And in fact, I have not, uh, I've not taken it apart. Um, I just keep lubing it up. And uh, I've got about, uh, got about nine or 10,000 rounds on it. Um, about half of that is duty. And that's one of, big, one of my questions is like, can the gun run every kind of duty ammo that's out there? So we're looking at all the horny stuff, all the gold dot, all the you know, golden saber, the mm -hmm. old hydro shock, whatever, whatever's out there, can it run? And uh, I've yet to have any malfunction gun based. Now the thing about this is with the mags, you gotta keep them clean, right? So this is gonna be a little more, a little more labor involved than say a Glock or whatnot. But if you stay on top of the magazines, uh, I've been running this gun pretty hard, injured shooter, racking it off cars, in the mud, in the rain. And uh, I'll tell you, man, I've been, I've been super impressed. I wouldn't have any, any qualms at all um, running this on duty.